Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today it is a mid-November day here in Southwest Florida and for some reason I'm just really, I'm pretty hot. Um, it's only 81 degrees Fahrenheit but uh, not much wind, humidity is really high and uh, these guys are loving it. I, it's a little bit a little bit too warm and humid for me. Uh, and I, I've been running around like a crazy man today getting stuff done. Um, anyway, what I have today is I wanna show you how I um, transplant some of my seedlings. So I've got, um, these are seedlings, and all I have right here are uh, six seedlings. And these are, these are mine, these are my hybrids. And what I have is when I deflask, I deflask directly into these two inch pots here and and they usually do pretty well um, but they're two inch pots and they're small so they can't they don't do well for very very long I've got some plants that get tall in two inch pots but I really like to get them out of there uh, as soon as I can as soon as I get them a little bit bigger right now when I deflask I deflask directly into um, classic grade um, Orchiata bark and they seem to do really well they have uh, these plants all have nice root systems but over time Orchiata in this area because it's so warm and humid it tends to break down really quickly so what I'd like to do when I transplant is I like to put all of these into um, either I've got I've got um, red lava rock lava stone right here I put this on the bottom of the pot and then I have um, Lekka uh, right here, and I put the leca on the top. Um, both both of these things, um, these um, media, they need to be washed a little bit. But what I do is I pot these guys up, and then I wash them. I kind of wash all the red out uh, afterwards. Um, so I start out in two-inch pots, and what I'm going to do. A lot of times, the people in the orchid world say just step it up a little bit, so go from two inch to three inch. But what I'm doing is I'm going from these two inch pots to these four inch pots and they're square and the reason they're square is because the format fits nicely for what I uh, what I do so I like growing these either in uh, these types of trays square trays or flats so I have flats and I can pack the square pots really nicely into the flats and they uh, they do well for a little while but then again what happens is because so many of them are cramped in um, they 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 kind of they need to be transplanted they get big and they need to be uh, transplanted um, and I only have six and I have I have hundreds of plants. I try, what, what happens is I, I do lose some of these, but then I also try to get rid of them in one way or the other. Um, so I have, uh, I have some here that are pretty nice. So I went through some of my um, plants in the two inch pots and I selected, um, I only wanted four, but there were six that were nice. Like I said, I have a lot more. Um, and I only pick six that I want to put into larger pots. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, these into the larger pots and the whites, and then I say they go in this basket. This is uh, an aquatic plant basket, and I buy these from Amazon, and I think they're, I think they're like, um, maybe four, $4.50 each, so they're not much. Um, they're meant to hold aquatic plants in, in ponds. Um, there's, you know, there's, they're open on the side and on the bottom. Uh, and what I do is I use this, this opening, and I uh, usually use that to, to hang. I, I, I hang, well, most of my, the orchids in my collection are, are hung. And so I have these wire hangers, and then I'll feed the wire into these, uh, these holes here, and then I can hang them. When I have these size pots, the two-inch pots, I can put 16 pots in one of these baskets. And when I use a four-inch pot, I can put four, I can put four of them, uh, one, two, three, four, into one of these. So the format is nice for what I, what I like to do. 
Um, and again, the, the plastic pots, what I do with these plastic pots is I can melt, I melt holes. If I'm gonna uh, hang them individually, I melt holes in the side of them and then I can hang them like this and this works out nicely. I've got a lot of my orchids hanging like this, my pergola on my fence uh, in these four inch pots. They, again, they work out pretty nicely uh, for this. Okay, so how do I do this? Well, so I, I said what I'd like to use is the, um, these various uh, e either lava stone or leca. I'm sorry, I'm just hot still. It's, it's, it's cooking today. Um, so I put these things in uh, these materials because they don't degrade. So what I'd like to do, let's start out by putting, um, and I'm not sure how many I'm going to do in front of you right now and how many I want to do uh, later. So I, I put a layer of the lava stone on the bottom of this uh, container, just, um, just a layer. And so let's just try two at the start and see how this goes. Okay, so I've got these, um, these two pots that we're going to go, and I'm going to go pick, I don't know, here's a tall one right here. Um, this is, again, all these are the, my hybrids, um, and they're all different. So these are the six different hybrids that I've generated. Um, these plants, they look, they look pretty nice. They have new roots um, coming out of them. They have good roots that are in the, uh, in the old bark, but they, they, could, they need to be transferred. And what I do is I like to get them in bigger pots because I think they'll, they do better. So I'm going to remove the tag and put that on the side here. And then what I'm gonna do is just dump out all of the, all of the um, bark. And the bark, you know, some of it is attached and I don't try to pull the bark off. And you can see the nice root system that's on this plant, which you may not be able to see are the nice roots that are coming out of this plant still. Um, all I do then is I make sure that the, the roots are far down uh, in the pot. You know, with, with some, when you transfer orchids, you want to have the new growth kind of coming out, um, coming out into the main part of the pot. But this is such a small plant, I'm just trying to put, I just want to put the, um, I just want to put the seedling in the, uh, in the middle of the pot here. So I've got this first one in the middle of the pot. Um, it's got a nice root system, so I want to make sure that the root system is, um, you know, in the pot itself, underneath the potting mix, and then I'm going to add LECA all around it. And what I'm careful about when I do this, I don't want to damage the roots. But I want to make sure that I got the roots covered and, and the most, I think one of the most important things about repotting orchids is getting the, um, getting the level of the plant in the potting mix right. So you want to have the base of the plant um, on, the, on the top and so you can, you can see the roots. Then what I'd like to do is just to kind of tap this down and it gets all the potting mix to kind of settle around the roots and stabilizes it. You have some people when they do this, I mean it's a little wobbly, and you have some people when they do this that like to stake the plant, but I just don't think uh, we need to do that. So it's, this is in here pretty good, and this is big, this is pretty big LECA. But I've got this tap down, looks good, I see the new roots uh, coming out. And the last thing, and the, and the important thing here, is to put my tag in, okay? And I make sure I have the tag in the pot. Some people, what they like to do is they like to put two tags. They like to put one, bury one in the pot and put one on the side. And I'm not quite like that, all right? So this is the first one, uh, and this is potted up and ready to go. And the second one, here's a big one right here. What is this? Oh uh, yeah, this is this is this is one um, that I named after after my daughter uh, right here. And this is a nice size plant. And let me pour this out and see what we got. And again, it's the same type of thing. And I'm tapping. I use these over again. I wash them out. I'm I'm a I'm cheap. And I kind of I use these things over again. And what you have here is the the bark is hanging on to this plant a little bit more. And, I, and some people are really cautious about cutting, you know, about getting rid of all the old medium. And if the roots are damaged in some way, it might be important to do that. But I'm looking at this 
and there are some roots that are damaged but for the most part they look so I'm pulling off just a little bit these I mean these are seedlings so I'm pulling off a little bit of the old damaged roots but um, a nice you know a nice root system nice roots coming out right here and so this this part um, you know this this is this plant is doing uh, pretty well and it's the same thing as I did before I, I center it maybe put it over to one side of the pot a little bit just so that the new growth is going is the new growth is in the center of the pot and then I pretty much just anchor this down using using the leca and it, it's already sitting in there just because of how it's growing and how it's positioning I'm I'm kind of um, I'm kind of a little crazy about getting this positioned right in the pot at the right right level, the right location. Um, also making sure that it's it's in there good. We we and when I knock the leca down, what happens is as the leca falls into place, it kind of opens up some more room at the top. So I need to put a few more uh, leca particles in here. Okay, so this is, and again, there's a little bit of wobbliness. To, sometimes people are, are crazy trying to get these things stabilized, but these things are going to be in here for, for a while. Uh, there's a lot of growth that they can do in here. And what happened with this is now this, got, this is a little low. So what I'm going to do is just pull this up and get it kind of shaken down as I pull it up. And because I want to see those nice green roots, the new roots, I want to see them at the surface. So I pull it up just a little bit so that I can see the roots. And then I'm, now I'm, I'm a little, I'm happy with this. Okay, last thing is to put my tag in here and it's all good. All right, so I'm going to put these, this one in here. And again, what happens with these things is they fit really nicely in that it goes side to side and it fits really nicely in here. All right, so what I'm going to do, and I'll probably speed this up, I'm going to do two more plants while um, and not say anything and I'll speed through this, but essentially I'm doing the same thing over again. So here we go. I'm going to pop these last two up. So those are the uh, those are the four that are going to go in here, and I've got two more uh, to do. But I think you get the idea of what I'm uh, I'm doing. So what I'll do is I'll take these out and I I I wash. I just put a um, just put water on them until and spray them, and then most of the water that's kind of red from the lava stone and the leca will pour out of the bottom of the of the container. But these are ready to go, so I'll just mount this. It's, it, there's, it's lava stone and leca, so it's a little heavy, but um, I'll just mount this uh, at a nice location, either on my fence or over my orchid pergola, and these guys will be off to the races. Everything has a tag. I've got two more to do, but we really don't need to, to see that. So um, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to share with you repotting and what I do. Uh, again, it's, these are not, these, these media are not recommended for everyone, uh, but for this area where it's really warm and there's a lot of degradation of, of bark and the organic materials, um, this is really the type of thing that I like to do. All right, so that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. I've got, I just looked, <laughs> I got a lot, I got a lot of plants blooming, so I'm gonna have more videos for you. I got a lot of good stuff going on in the laboratory. And uh, it's, 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 getting, it's getting fun, so I'm, I'm just enjoying this. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did and you want to keep on seeing my videos, it would help me out if you can click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right, so yay, more plants to, uh, to get big and flower, and I'm excited about all of these too. So that's all I have for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and happy propagating.